Hey one and all, um, I'm working on another 97 through 13 club car transaxle. Actually this one's out of a Pioneer 1200, it's the locking depth style. Um, but they're all very similar aside from a gear ratio difference and then of course the uh, portion of the carrier that locks up with the, um, the OEM uh, diff lock. But the reason why I'm making a video today is uh, this one came up locked in reverse. And we've all heard of the, um, you know, the, the sort of uh, fairly common club car problem where if somebody, you know, aggressively selects forward or reverse, they can jam a synchro ring onto, um, onto the gear. But, you know, in this case, it was, it was because of something entirely different. And I, I just wanted to cover it quickly. Um, it's something to be mindful of. Now, um, the synchro ring that I'm talking about uh, was right in here. And this little ring was locked onto the gear and the reason for that is um, this just is another one I had in stock here the uh, the threads that are cut into the synchro in the back here it's hard to do with uh, I'll try and point I'm just doing it with one hand so these guys here uh, had worn absolutely flat and um, what it, basically it was just absolutely worn to the point where this portion of the synchro ring almost touches the gear. Now in this case we we always look for um, you know 60 thousandths but this one was making contact with the gear. Now when you're doing an inspection on a synchro ring you know a synchro it kind of serves a couple of purposes or maybe three I guess. You know first and foremost it's designed to match this what the speed of one gear to another and then of course it's designed to lock the gear so uh once again hard to do with uh, one hand maybe if i stand it up it's designed to lock that gear um but you know what it's not supposed to do is is be a break and what i mean by that is if you're rolling forwards uh and you're not fully stopped your synchronizer ring, as it's trying to migrate from the uh, synchronizer hub over to the gear, it's actually trying to slow the vehicle down. Now, I was able to save this gear, but it was in this surface, it was all burnt up. And uh, this ring is, um, it, as I say, it's just a mess. Like it just squishes right on there and, and makes contact. But, um, you know, traditionally when you're, when you're inspecting a synchronizer ring, the first thing guys are looking at are usually these uh, recesses where the uh, synchronizer strut engages. There's three of those. And, um, you know, you'll see some wear in there and then you'll have a problem where the synchronizer ring doesn't index, say, for example, between the two gears. It can get locked in between and then make a, 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 a directional change uh, impossible. But, you know, when they're locked up, um, don't just assume it was an aggressive operator that just slammed it into gear. You can have an operator that over time, and they don't realize they're doing it, they're making a, a, a directional change before the vehicle comes to a stop, and they're slowly wearing this ring out on this inner surface. And then, um, you know, you're, you're obviously inspecting when you're rebuilding these things to make sure it grabs the gear, but you've got to look to make sure that you have some clearance. And this one, as I say, is completely worn out. This one is um, a new ring, so he'll be good to go uh, with that one. This one came up from Texas. But uh, that's something to be mindful of. Now, we're updating this one to the uh, sealed bearing. Now, you know, there was a little bit of debate for a while. People were calling me, should they use the sealed bearing or not? I've kind of, because the club car engineers are using the sealed bearing, that's what they suggest. That's what I put there. But in other locations, like this is a new bearing that I couldn't get. Um, open you just pop this out I will in a moment I've popped it out on the back side but um, yeah you just in the other locations you don't want, want to run it sealed because the engineers haven't in this particular spot they have so we do but uh, anyways that's all I've got for you just wanted to let you know there is a little bit more to inspecting these things than you know you know kind of meets the eye you wanted you want to look at the condition of those rings especially if one comes in locked up uh, like this one had Anyways, uh, just a reminder, if you need seals for these things or um, three bond or anything else to do this uh, job, you know, at uh, your own shop, uh, reach out to me. I'm happy to help. 
Other than that, uh, have a good one. See ya.